This video is on the tear, tear film surface quality analysis that you can do with your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. Start by selecting the patient you'd like to capture on, then go up to the corneal topography capture icon. This brings up the capture window. We can select the type of capture we'd like to do, in this case, the tear film analysis. Click on that button. With the capture window open, select the duration and time you would like to capture the tear film over. In this case, the default duration is 15 seconds. You can make that shorter or longer as you desire. Next, center the patient behind the unit and position the Medmont in order to take a capture. Ask your patient to take two blinks and hold their eye open as long as they can. Take two blinks, and we're going to keep the unit centered for that 15 seconds or until the patient needs to blink again. If the patient is blinked, the, tear, the capture will automatically stop. Or if you reach the desired amount of time, the 15 seconds, the instrument will complete its capture. When that's done, go to Next and Finish. The capture will automatically be saved to the patient file. We can see that here highlighted by a teardrop appearing icon, which indicates it's a tear film surface quality analysis. We can look at the image, not in terms of the shape of the eye, but in terms of the quality of the tear film. Where you see dark blue, that's where the tear film is very smooth and even, indicating good quality tear film. Where you see hot colors, that's where the tear film is likely in breakup, where you have high points from one imaged area to the next where the tear film may not be smooth or even. We can play this as a continuous loop to assess the quality of tear film changes over time. Each pink dot corresponds to which image is being displayed at the point in time that it was captured. We can look at this blue line here as the indicated point of tear breakup time or what the instrument believed was the point where there was tear film breakup. If we go to the top right hand corner, we can look at the average TFSQ, 0.190. Dry eye would be considered any value over 0.1. So this patient would be over the dry eye threshold. And that's taking the average of all these data points together. Next, you can look at the average TFSQ area that is believed to be in breakup. 14.2% of the measured area is believed to be in breakup. And then lastly, we have a 2.3 second tear breakup time. So all of our indices are indicating that we have a relatively dry eye patient.